All right, here's how to make product quizzes using ChatGPT4. In this tutorial, I'll go through two types of product quizzes that you can make. One where you're recommending one product at the end. So that would be like, which watch is right for you or which scarf should you buy? And then I'll make another one where it shows multiple products at the end. So that would be like, what's your skin type? And you would have three products that match a skin type or the example I'm gonna give in this tutorial actually is, what type of coffee should you drink? And then I'll recommend like three different coffee beans you could buy based on your type. I'll go through the one where it shows multiple products in the outcomes. That's the more complicated one. So I wanna show that in the tutorial. Uh, and then there's just a slight modifier to do the one where you recommend one product at the end. Everything else is pretty much the same, so pretty simple. Now, before I go any further, I do wanna let you know that if you want us to handle this for you, and we also have some proprietary stuff that we bake into this on our end. When we do it, you can go to ai.tryinteract.com and we will build out your product quiz for you. And in the future, we're going to automate that more and more so that you can use it yourself. Uh, we're still just in the build phase right now. But I want to show you what we have and talk you through how to make a product recommendation quiz using ChatGPT4. I'll share my screen. Okay, so here we are inside of ChatGPT4. I'm accessing this from the playground view. I just like this interface better. It's easier for me to use, but it's the same model that exists within ChatGPT4 if you're accessing it through chat, uh, ChatGPT directly. So either way you want to get here, let's talk through how you build out a product quiz. The first thing that you're going to do is grab the products and product descriptions for those products that you want to include in your quiz. So whether you're recommending one product at the end or multiple, you want to grab that whole bucket of products that you want to have in the quiz and put it into your prompt. Now, in this example, I'm using Henry's House of Coffee. This is a good friend of ours, and they let us use their site as an example for this video. If I go to their products, they sell coffee. There are products on this page. So I'll literally just go click into this product, grab the product title, and then scroll down and get the product description. Now, if you don't have these, if you just have like a list of uh, specs around a product, that will work too. Just whatever you have for those products. Now that's gonna go into your prompt here. This prompt says, these are my products. If I wanna make a quiz that recommends the right products, what are 10 ideas for quiz titles? So we're gonna start off with getting a quiz title. Now, if you already know what your quiz title is, just skip this step and go to the next step in the prompt. And FYI, all of these prompts are available in a blog post that I'll link as well. So I'm just going to go quickly through this so you don't have to like try to copy everything down as we're going. Everything is in here. All the prompts are separated out by uh, you know these purple backgrounds and it tells you which parts to change. Okay, so you build your prompt, your first prompt by putting in the product titles and descriptions. You run that to get ideas for your quiz, which you'll see are printed out over here on the assistant side. So I got 10 ideas for my quiz. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of those, or you can ask the chat GPT to tell you which one is best. And it actually does a pretty good job of that. So if you wanted to give you 10 and then ask which one is best, you can do that. I recommend doing it that way, trying to go straight to which one is best. It's not super good. So give it some options, let it choose. Now, the second step in this prompt that we're going to run if we scroll down here in our system side, so you'll see there's a lot of products. You can do as many products as you want, really. Um, the most I've done so far is like 25. I wouldn't recommend going too much higher than that just because your prompt's going to get super long, but you can go up to like 25-ish or so. If you have more than that, just reach out to us. We'll figure out a way to, to get that done for you. So then the next step is going to be converting the products into quiz outcomes. So what we found is you don't want to just put the like product title and description from your site into the quiz outcome. You want it to be its own thing. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to convert that and you'll see it over on the right side. It prints out outcome one, dark and bold, outcome two, smooth and balanced, outcome three, outcome four. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, which is really cool and a great update that we just added to our prompt design for making these product quizzes is modifiers. So what I mean is you get your outcomes, you look at them and you're like, eh, this would be cool, but I want it to be more fun. 
which is the thing that I put in here. So I said, keep the same formatting, but rewrite those outcomes to be more fun. And it did a perfect job. It said <laughs> outcome one, instead of dark coffee, it says the dark night, like the movie. Really cool. Instead of smooth, it says the smooth operator, right? So maybe this is to your liking. Maybe it's not. You can run these modifiers as many times as you want. And if we scroll over to our blog post here, we'll see that we have a list of modifications to the outcomes that ChatGPT will understand. It's not going to understand all modifications. So we've tested out all these modifications and they work. So you can run any of these as many times as you want until your outcomes are to your liking. Once the outcomes are to your liking, then you'll run the next prompt, which is going to create the questions of the quiz. And the same thing, you can modify them as many times as you want. You have modifiers available so that you can make the questions more fun, more serious, more informative, more uh, to the point, you know, whatever you want it to be, um, you, can, you can add those in here. Then what we'll do is create the quiz opt-in form copy. So a lot of people use these as a list building tool and we integrate directly with Klaviyo and MailChimp and all the email softwares. And then you'll generate your short description. Once all this content is generated, you're going to use the Interact AI importer. So that's our proprietary tool that will take this, copy it in. Right now, we'll do that for you. In the future, that will be available to the public. So you can have us handle it for you now. And then here's what it's going to look like inside of Interact. Here's my dashboard. I go to edit. When I import it in, it's not going to have images or styles. I just pop some colors in here and some photos. And here's what it looks like when it's like built out as a nice quiz. I have my questions in here. I have my results and it's all copied in here. I can use this call to action button for somebody to go shop now. Uh, when I'm ready with this, I just publish. It publishes the quiz. I can either embed it on my site, works great in a Shopify page, or I can use it as its own URL. Here's the quiz, take the quiz, you go through it and has the opt-in form at the end. This is how you collect the emails. I'm gonna skip that. And then I got the smooth operator and here's my quiz outcome. So that is how you build a product quiz using ChatGPT4. Uh, all, you, all you really need to input is the products that you wanna be recommending and the product descriptions that correspond to those products. It does everything else for you. It does really well speaking in your voice because you are putting in your product descriptions that are already written the way you want them to be written. And then it expands that into a really great quiz. And then using our specific prompts from Interact, it's optimized for conversion, both for email capture and for product sales. So again, you can write into the ai.tryinteract.com. We'll handle all this for you. Also help you think through what's a good strategy in terms of how many products to include, which products to include, how to frame the quiz, where to promote it, all that kind of stuff. If you want to do it yourself, uh, you can follow the prompts on the blog post that I'll link and then use Interact to build it out or other quiz builder if you have one that you're using instead of ours. So that is how you build it out. It's really, really simple and makes a great quiz. The modifiers also allow you to customize the quiz as you're going so that you know if you find something you don't like, you can change it really easily. So definitely recommend trying this. Takes the time to build a product recommendation quiz from a few weeks up to months or years down to now, now I can do it in about 10 to 15 minutes front to back, like generate, put the styles in, get it on the site, all that kind of good stuff. So definitely recommend trying this out.